Bronco Bob here today to show you a 2022, it's called a Vorsure XER. This is an overlanding trailer. It rides on upgraded 35 inch tires, has plenty of storage. This is a slide out little tray right here, locking boxes on the sides. It's got a 20 gallon water tank and that's the fill cap. It's got twin propane bottles that power the cooktop as well as the Insta Hot hot water system. Got a stainless steel sink, nice stainless and aluminum shelves. Real deep storage here. You got an LED light strip for cooking at night. This bat wing awning, I only tied it down in three points, but if you tie each of the loops, it holds it really, really secure. It doesn't look like it's been used. There's no remnants of any kind of cooking or food or anything. Pretty much like brand new. It's got a refrigerator, freezer combo. And I'm told you can adjust the temperature on both sides so you can make everything a freezer or everything a refrigerator. And it runs off the batteries. Here's your control panel. It's got this uh, little prep station here that you can fold out for, then you got a little counter space right here as well. The tent, I just unfolded it. It's a 23-0 breezeway model, basically a queen size mattress. And it looks brand new. I mean, there's no dirt on it. It's just, it's never been wet. It's just never been used. You got a full size spare tire. You got flat mounts here where you can mount like roto packs. There's a receiver hitch on the back if you want to haul like bicycles. There's the aluminum ladder. I'll let you have a look inside here. It's all set up for rain, you know, if you get rained on. But it's a queen size, it's pretty big where you can sit up in it. Then you can undo the screens if you want to let air flow through, depending on where you're camping. It's got sturdy aluminum fenders that you can walk on. And this is that path pass through storage system. Another locking toolbox here on the side. This is actually the cover for the tent when it's folded up. Up front, you got a, another locking deep well storage box. It's got twin heavy duty deep cycle batteries. You got a voltmeter, light switch. There's your fuses. It's got charging ports, different things, different areas of the trailer, really nice welds. It's well, good quality. And that's your genius charger to charge up the batteries. Notice the frame is all tilted at an angle and that gives more welding points. It makes it more sturdy. Got heavy duty tie down hooks. You can see that 20 gallon water tank, it's aluminum and it's got an independent timber and suspension with electric brakes. That gives you maximum ground clearance. You got nothing to drag. The ride of independent suspension and it's all rides on rubber instead of springs. Pretty interesting. The hitch I've got disconnected, but it's an articulating, tilting hitch with two grease cirques on it. Get another look at the tent. And I haven't cleaned it up. It's like the wheels are dirty, the fenders are dirty. But the tent is brand new. The kitchen looks brand new. Everything that matters is clean. You can clean wheels. But yeah, I don't think anybody's ever, ever used this. It's got a hook up here for what I call a show off shower, outdoor shower. Of course you can shower with your bathing suit on if you like. Underneath this deal is your that's the hookup for the shower. And then it's got a little nozzle to try to preserve your water. Underneath here is the water pump and the plumbing. And you can see the cooktop here. But you can look these guys up online. They're built in Utah. 
and this particular one sells new for right at 30,000. Overlanding stuff is expensive. It's very popular in Australia. There's a lot of places to go in the outback. This would be nice to have up in Colorado. You had a place up there and you just wanted to go up in the mountains one night and spend the night up at a high elevation. This would be a great rig to do it. I'm gonna kind of get back where you can kind of see it. And I'm gonna to try to upload this video from my cell phone. Should be able to do that to YouTube. It's a cool camper, be a lot of fun. It weighs, I believe 1900 pounds is what I saw. Of course, it'll be a little heavier when you put your water in and, and all your gear. Hook it up behind your Jeep and head to the mountains. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails and hope to see you in our showroom soon.